Okay, okay, so for the last step of this problem, we're going to go through and find the matrix exponential given the three P's and the three R's that we found earlier in the problem-solving process. So our E to the AT is going to have our E to the negative T times 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, plus a T, E to the negative T times a matrix 0, 0, 0. Negative 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2, 4, negative 2. And then a 1 half t squared times the zero matrix. Okay, so now we're going to rewrite this as one single matrix by distributing those coefficients and adding up the different entries. So we're going to have our e to the at... And that's going to be equal to the 3 by 3 matrix that has an e to the negative t in the first location, a 0 in the next location, and a 0 in the 3, 1 entry. And then moving on to the second row, we're going to have a 0 from the first, a negative t, e to the negative t picked up from the middle, and then nothing from the last. And then for the middle entry, we're going to have an e to the negative t plus 2 t e to the negative t and then a 0 from the last one and then for this entry we're going to pick up a 0 a negative 1 times t e to the negative t and then 0 again for the bottom row we pick up a 0 from the first a negative 2 t e to the negative t from the second and nothing from the third. And then in our middle, we have zero from the first, a four t e to the negative t in the middle, and a zero from the last. And then finally, for the last entry, we're gonna pick up one of the e to the negative t's, and then a minus two t e to the negative t from the middle, and nothing from the last. So that right there is our matrix exponential. And then the last thing to do is to write our corresponding general solution. So that's our y of t, and that's an arbitrary constant, c1, times the first column as a vector, which is e to the negative t, negative t, e to the negative t, negative 2t, e to the negative t. And then in the middle, we're going to have our arbitrary constant, c2, times that column vector, 0 e to the negative t plus 2 t e to the negative t and then 4 t e to the negative t and then finally a c3 times the last column vector 0 negative t e to the negative t e to the negative t minus 2 t e to the negative t and those three vectors there add up to make our general solution and again, this corresponds to the matrix differential equation, y prime is equal to a times y.